The yeas are 228. The nays are 197. The bill is passed. The Dream and Promise Act made it through the House with nine Republicans voting alongside Democrats. The legislation creates a pathway to citizenship for individuals without legal status who were brought to the United States as children. The bill has passed in the House before in 2019, where seven Republicans also voted for it. Uh, we are pleased that this legislation opens a door of opportunity for temporary protective status and uh, DED recipients who are American in every way, raising families, starting businesses, and contributing to our community over the decades. But the bill was never brought up in the Republican-led Senate and therefore never voted on. Even now, it's unclear whether there will be 10 Republicans who will vote alongside all Democrats to survive a filibuster. A pathway to citizenship for individuals who were brought illegally to the United States as children has long been popular. 30 Republicans voted alongside the majority of Democrats to pass the Farm Workforce Modernization Act. Farm workers are getting infected and dying from COVID at a much higher rate than the general public. They are literally dying to feed you, give you the nutrients you need to heal from COVID. We must protect and secure our food supply chain. The bill allows farm workers to earn temporary protected status and provides a path to a green card. Children and spouses can also apply for temporary status under the act. The bills are part of a democratic strategy to try and pass big immigration reform one piece at a time, but increased numbers of unaccompanied children coming to the US-Mexico border could derail that plan. Republicans on Capitol Hill are saying that the legislation doesn't address the immediate immigration problem. We have a crisis at the border. The number of unaccompanied minors has tripled at the border over the past two weeks. And they are asking for more border provisions to be included in the legislation. There are so many areas where uh, when it comes to the border, uh, this current administration is uh, making much, much worse what's going on down there. And as a consequence, uh, you're seeing all kinds of uh, unaccompanied minors, asylum seekers, people at the border. Um, it's a very, uh, I think, unsafe and uh, chaotic situation down there that will, that will only get worse if they continue uh, down the current path. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.